leveled up. I'm on a new level. Everything I touch turn to gold. Ain't I something special? This one for my haters. I'm a motivator. I make them niggas wanna do better. I want too much. I can never sell it. Settle for less, nigga. I can never. She did better. I probably would've kept her. But oh boy, I found something better. And she go do me better. Have you ever been to an amateur event? I have. Nah, nah, I've been to a pro event. Have you seen any amateur events online? Or? Yeah, I've seen them online. They look nice. They real quick. Point, 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 points. They go fast. They go real fast. That's the only thing I say. They getting them combos off. Alright, so compare the underground to the amateurs the best way you can. <laughs> Realistically? Realistically. <laughs> yeah. Hold on, let me think. I mean, let me... I mean, I mean from, the, from the fighters to the, the actual event, you know what I'm saying, all together. Okay, it depends on what event you go to on the coup. I would say that you got some people, events where it's going to be like the hoop it up. Three on three hoop it up. You make your own shirt. <laughs> You show up whenever you show up. Whoever there is whoever there. <laughs> they gonna play whoever they gonna play. <laughs> and go on about your way with your with your neighborhood three on three hooping up uh title entitlement. Then you got your you got your big three. You know what I'm saying? You got your big three, baby. That's your lifestyle, fitness. That's your lamb four or five. I think it's a lamb four. Yeah. Lamb four. You know what I'm talking about? That VB throwing me off. I forgot it's the one in front of me. Yeah, that lamb four. Your lifestyle fitness is where you're going to come. You're going to have it lined up. You're going to have the crowd right. You're going to have your fights. Oh, plenty of fights. Running it. Running, running, running. That's like your ice cube. Big three where, hey, you got professionals, retired professionals, people that, you know what I'm saying? play overseas or whatever so they got their skill set they 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 ready and they going at it toe to toe then you got your pro pros you got your all-stars that's the all-star game that's your that's your WNBA and NBA again I'm using basketball references because that's what I mostly played my whole life you know what I'm saying so that's that's your pro boxers right there that's your that's your next level that's your Earl Spence's your Mighty Mo Hooker, because hey, people can say what they want to say, but go on and go spar that man. Bet your ass will get done. I seen it firsthand. Nigga thought, because you seen him on TV, yeah, I beat his ass. Ha ha ha. Got in there and got toasted. Boy, <laughs> fuck you mean. Oh, and hey, on the cool, that's the same with like me and Chicken. Hey, I won my little first little two fights. First time I ever sparred Chicken. Boy, I was tired than a bitch. That girl got so much fucking stamina. I said, God damn, whoo, I'm talking about, then, you know, you get a minute in between rounds, we was only doing 30 seconds, I was like, 30 seconds, what the fuck is that, you know what I'm saying, oh, God damn, that, hey, it's a whole nother level, you got, hey, you better have your stamina up, you better know what the hell you're doing, because that's, I really didn't know what I was doing then, you know what I'm saying, she was able to cut the ring off on my ass, and on my ass, just was on my ass, but now I'm on your ass, girl, I'm on your ass, come on, hey. Alright, so give me your take on. Uh, I asked Coach Jim the same question. Give me your take on. They say we can get. Uh, first, before I ask you that, besides lifestyle, what's your favorite events to attend in the underground? You already know. That lamb folk, cause they, that nigga over there in Fort Worth doing it like how lifestyle do it over in Dallas on the cool. Like, that's the last fight I just had. Matter of fact, that one was what? What's today? The 16th? What? About four days ago. Four or five days ago? Yeah, I can get used to that. Come over there and take y'all cookies. You know what I'm saying? I like the setup. It was it was it was real nice. Oh, it reminded me of when we had, what was that? The uh the underground where we had the the thing come out the ceiling? Bruh. Hey. That mug was live. It had the little gas, little smoke machine. You coming down from the ceiling with your song. Ooh, walking down on the stage and stuff, coming up to the ring. Yeah, that mug was live. That's how I live, man. Yeah, upstairs, you walk down with your theme music, you know what I'm saying? 
man had the had the little rails. I felt I felt like it was a hint of dang. This had a this had a real the real boys feel. It was cameras. I was almost blinded before I got to the ring. Just check, 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 check. <laughs> had to keep my cute face. Hello. <laughs> Um, so, all right. So, how do you feel about amateur fighters fighting in the underground? Ooh, that's that's a good one. I feel like that's too easy. I feel like that's not gonna make them better. It'll, it'll make that the underground people get a little better. But as far as if you are amateur, I feel like only fight other amateurs. And go on and go pro, cause what is that gonna help you? It ain't gonna help you. Cause once I go amateur, I'm not fighting nobody underground because first of all, it's a whole different type of style. Like this last fight I had, I could tell because it was like, okay, I'm boxing, they fighting, they swinging wild, they windmilling, and if you ain't really tighten up on your P's and Q's, your ass will fuck around and get hit in the wrong way and fuck your own self off. You know what I mean? Just luckily that ain't happening with me, but Hey, the windmill is real. <laughs> Boom. All right, so let me ask you this. How you feel about it? What if we had amateurs fight each other? Like, uh, one experienced fighter fight another experienced fighter, but then the underground. That's beautiful. I fucked with that. Oh, yeah, because you fight another amateur fight that's on your same level. That's the only thing. Just fight somebody on your same level. If you're gonna, if you're gonna fight in the underground, get somebody that's for real on your level. Don't fight somebody that you know you are gonna whoop their ass and whoop the whoop. Cause again, like I said, even though my intention when I go in, cause I'm always humble, I'm never underestimating any opponent I ever had. I always done been nervous right before I get in the ring. You know, I gotta say my little prayer, do my little low routine, whatnot. But if I ever had, yeah, they may not be skill set wise better, but shit, that weight, that count too. And if you don't know what you're doing against somebody that's heavier than you, they drop that heavy load on your ass, you'll get fucked off too. So it was like I was at an advantage skill-wise, but I always at a disadvantage when it came to weight.